What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you all how I use the Line 6 Helix with my saxophone for live gigs. Let's get into it. So I used to use the Line 6 HX Stomp and that was honestly just fine. The reason I switched to the Helix was because I started playing guitar on my main gig as well. So I play probably like 60 to 65 percent saxophone and the rest guitar on that gig for the guitar stuff i wanted to have something a little bit more with a little bit more i guess options foot switches than the hx stomp so i looked into the helix and the helix was perfect for me to run both my guitar and my saxophone through because it's got like an insane amount of io the way i use it is that i have one patch that's dedicated to my saxophone since i really don't have that many things going on it's like i said mostly just like reverb delay uh, i use like some eq and compression and stuff and then i have a whole bunch of other patches for my guitar i'm probably not going to cover the guitar stuff in this video i think i'm going to save that for another video so if you guys do want to see how i use this with my guitar as well go ahead and leave me a comment down below just let me know but for now we're just going to focus on the saxophone stuff so let's go down and check it out okay so this whole thing starts with my amt mini wireless system so this is the receiver and it is battery powered which is awesome and i have it running uh from a quarter inch to xlr into the mic in on the back of the helix and so if you look at my patch it starts with input mic goes into a compressor goes into a pitch goes into a, a chorus goes into a simple delay, goes into a dynamic hall reverb, goes into an EQ, and into a volume block. And of course it goes out through the XLR out on the back of the Helix. So the way I really use this, the reverb is just on all the time, and I use these switches down here mostly. So gain, delay, chorus, simple pitch, which is like my sub octave, which I'll explain, and then my tap tempo. So I use these to kind of kick on the effects that I want. Like I said, it's very simple. I'm not doing anything crazy. It's just pretty standard stuff. So let's go back up and I'll show you guys some of the sounds I can get with this. So this here is my AMT uh, transmitter. What I really like about this wireless mic is that the transmitter itself is like built into the mic so there's no body pack. So if you're in a band that uses like in-ears like we do, you don't have to deal with like two body packs. You've got this guy and then you've got your in-ear body pack. So it makes things a lot easier for sure using this. Okay, so here's what it sounds like with just the reverb, compressor, and EQ. Okay, next I'll go ahead and show you guys the delay that I use. I usually just kick this on if I'm playing like a ballad uh, melody or a ballad like solo or something, just to add a little bit of depth to uh, whatever it is I'm playing. So, sounds like this. Okay, and the next thing I'll show you guys is the chorus. So usually I use the delay and the chorus together. Usually if I have like an 80s or a 70s sax solo or something like that, I'll go ahead and kick on the chorus and delay. So it sounds like this. Okay, and the last thing I have to show you guys is my sub octave pedal. So I typically just use this for like Barry Sack scoops and stuff like that. Um, I'm not turning this on and like playing a solo with it. I have before, but it didn't go over so well. So <laughs> I don't really use it that way anymore. But here's an example. OK, 
Okay, so that's how I use the Line 6 Helix with my saxophone for live gigs. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel if you found this content useful. And if you wanna see how I use this also with my guitar, cause I do use it simultaneously with my saxophone and my guitar, I'd be happy to make a video on that. Just let me know in the comments. All right guys, thanks again. See y'all next time.